on average, people tell two lies every day. Now, not all lies are bad lies. Plenty of lies are pro-social, such as white lies. But all lies fit into three categories. An article published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology defines the three types of lying as lying by commission, the active use of false statements, lying by omission, failing to disclose relevant information, and paltering, which is the act, or art, of using truthful statement in order to deceive another. Perhaps the best-known example of paltering is quoted at the beginning of Rogers et al.'s report. Bill Clinton, when asked to clarify if he'd had a sexual relationship with Monica Lewinsky, replied, There is not a sexual relationship. That is accurate. The president's careful use of the present tense ensured that his statement was technically truthful, but his paltering served to mislead beyond its strictly literal meaning. Lying is a very human behavior. Over half of negotiators lie to their counterpart. But why? A simple answer is that we are out to achieve the very best for ourselves and the groups that we associate with. For economic gain, for social status, for passion. The question of why people lie is in many ways the same question as what motivates people. An intriguing point about lying though is that people have an internal drive to see themselves as good. Most people don't aim to be a baddie. And even society's baddies don't all consider themselves to be in the wrong. Just think of the conviction with which a terrorist conducts his or her act. When it comes to deceiving others, a person must balance an internal struggle between the desire for personal gain, the material outcome of the lie, and the concern to maintain a positive self-image, limiting the psychological cost of lying. And this is why paltering, lying by telling the truth, is such an appealing way to mislead another. Rather than proactively providing false information, palterers are able to maintain a positive self-image of honesty whilst misleading their counterpart all the same. Rogers et al. conducted a series of five studies, each considering the act of paltering. They found that individuals prefer to palter than tell a lie by commission, and palterers considered their actions to be more honest than an active lie. However, the recipient, or perhaps a victim, of a palter is likely to judge the deceitful act as unethical, which can significantly harm an individual's reputation. In particular, paltering in response to a direct question is considered to be more unethical than an unprompted palter, due to a perceived sense of obligation to the questioner. This might explain a lot in the realms of politics and business on a grand or personal level. By using truthful statements, paltering may provide a particularly palatable form of deception for deceivers just as long as you don't get caught, Bill. This research by Rogers et al. from Harvard and the University of Pennsylvania was published in December 2016. What implications do you think it could have going forward? As always, it would be great to hear your thoughts in the comments. And remember to check out psychologyunlocked.com and subscribe to the channel for all the latest videos.